Hello, welcome to the SQL offline videos. In this video, I will show you how to create and test connection strings, first with Windows and later using SQL offline. So what are connection strings? A connection string is a data link. In plain text, it identifies how to access a data file or database server, and it can include authentication. Let's get started by creating a connection string in Windows. It is as simple as creating a text file and giving it a universal data link or UDL extension. You can then simply click to edit the UDL file and the data link properties dialog box displays. Here I pick SQL Server, specify the server name, enter a username and password, specify the database name, and I can now test and save the UDL file. Now the UDL file contains a plain text connection string and you can use notepad to see it. So here I did save passwords into the plain text file. For more on passwords, I highly recommend watching the Getting Started 2 video. So far in this video, I have used plain windows to create a SQL Server connection string and save it as a UDL file. And now I want to talk about ODBC data source names. Connection strings to a name data source are very simple, but you must first create the data source, which I will do now. In Windows Control Panel, I will use the ODBC Data Source Administrator. You select 32 or 64 bit to match the application, and SQL Offline is a 32 bit application. So here I click Add to create a MySQL data source. Now I'll name the new data source, enter the server name, and provide authentication information and specify a database. Now, whether or not the password is saved depends on the driver. Now if I go back to the data link properties and refresh, I can select the new data source name. I'll click OK to save the UDL file. And in Notepad, I'll take a look at the connection string. So this part is for ODBC. And here is the new data source name. OK, now I want to show you how SQL Offline creates and uses connection strings. If I open the UDL file with SQL Offline, the connection is initialized, and I can browse the database. Here is the connection string. Now, next I want to create a new connection string to a Microsoft Access database file. I click the File button in the Data ribbon and select and access ACCDB file. Now doing this creates a connection string and initializes the database. Now, if I uninitialize the connection, I can edit, test, and save the UDL file. Now, SQL Offline tries to keep the connection string clean of default properties, but they're yours if you want them. Now here I'll save the UDL file. And that's it. We've created a new Microsoft Access connection string. To end this video, I'll quickly show you some other connection strings that you can create using SQL Offline. Here I specify that I want to use headers for column names in an Excel XLS file, which creates this connection string. And next, I'll select an SQLite file. Now, I should note that SQL Offline identifies and uses client drivers directly, so you do not need to create named data sources. And finally, SQL Server Compact. I hope that this video helps you to create, test, and share connection strings, both using SQL Offline and Windows alone. Thank you for watching.